to that. Okay, so Boxcar asks, what is base control? Can you guys kind of share yeah. that? Yeah. That would so, be a good question to answer. Dirac yeah. Live base control is a way for them to uh, calibrate each sub individually so that you get a frequency response that's the most consistent from seat to seat. Uh, in addition, it looks at your main speakers. So left, center, right. It looks at those speakers and sees how they roll off. And it looks at the phase response of those and tries to give you the best possible blend, right? Mm -hmm. And so typically, you know, you'll measure at, at various seats These for a non-base control one. You'll measure at different seats and it will... It'll kind of look look at the entire response and make it so that the bass is less horrible at all the seats, right? It's just trying to make one that sounds pretty good at all of them. And it'll apply the same EQ to all the subs, right? That's a normal Odyssey, all these other guys, that's how it kind of works, right? All the subs, you, you look at it as one subwoofer, and then you EQ it as a whole. This is different in that it looks, it takes a measurement from each seat, so in my case, I have four seats, takes a measurement at each seat, and then it takes a measurement of each sub and speaker at each seat. And then it says, how do I EQ all of these subs so I get the best blend as well as the most consistency from seat to seat? And what you end up with is a crazy like EQ for each subwoofer, something you would never consider doing. Expect, yeah. So you, it definitely needs a computer to do it. Right, so the computer's in there. I think their claim is that they have, um, you know, it uploads the data and then they use their, you know, uh, more powerful computer to do some AI stuff, I think is what they say. But I don't know if it's really that. But anyway, the point is the computer figures out the best possible combination and that's what it sets all the subs to. Only issue with that is once you move one sub or you make a change, you really should run Redo that again it. you can't yeah, just yeah. remove one sub but like you remove one sub and now your frequency response is all over the place so very interesting stuff it, it's it's what a lot of people do it's what i do with multi-sub optimizer uh so i'll do i do this exact same thing but manually so i'll take all the measurements um and then i have to figure out with the software you know what settings to to use this is all automatic so it's pretty awesome Hopefully that answers that. All right. If you would like to join us every week on Mondays at, what time is it? About 6 p.m. Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at youtube.com slash daily high five. We out. <laughs>